Listen, it's 2023, baby. If you're still afraid to rock a red lip, mm -mm, you're gonna leave off of this video, not afraid. I don't know what it is about a red lip, but it just makes me feel like that shit. It just gives sexy, sophisticated, you are so confident and sure about yourself. I remember the first time I tried a red lip, I was super scared and unsure of myself. I was just like, wow, that's like a lot. Especially on a dark skin tone, I was like, I don't think that looks quite right, but that's because I was wearing the wrong shade of red. You definitely want a true red. Blue tone reds are always going to be more flattering. They're also gonna be more forgiving. If you want your teeth to look more white, then go for a blue tone red. So both of the shades that I'm sharing today are blue tone reds. They are true reds. I have loved both of these for years. So I know both of these products are super bomb. One of these products is transfer resistant. So if you're going out for drinks or you're gonna be kissing your boo, this is not going to transfer. It's going to lip balm. Also, before you wear a red lip, you want to exfoliate your lips really good. Make sure they're nice and moisturized because once you put this baby on, you want your lips to look bomb, kissable, not cracky, not dry, not flaky. So make sure that you exfoliate and moisturize them really good. And and lastly, you want a good lip liner. If you're still a little apprehensive about rocking a red lip, then you can go for a brown lip liner. That's going to ease the transition from your skin tone to the red lip a little bit better, so it looks more subtle. But if you're more daring and you want the true red lip effect, then definitely get a red lip liner. I love this one from MAC. It's called Brick. It's like a true classic red, and that's exactly what we're doing today. We are doing my top two classic red lips for women of color, but even if you're not of a darker skin tone, you can definitely rock both of these products because I have friends that are of other ethnicities that have worn both of these lips and they look just as bomb. Honestly, these are like universal reds, okay? If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you doing? Go ahead, subscribe so we can be makeup besties. I'm gonna be sharing a lot Lot of my top and go-to products within the next few weeks so you definitely don't want to miss out and if you would like to see my top two favorite red lippies for women of color definitely stay tuned if you've never tried a Chanel lipstick you definitely need this one in your life I swear it looks good on every skin tone, every ethnicity. It's like a true red, but it just looks bomb and it's not a matte. It's more of like a satin finish and I'm obsessed. So the lipstick opens by just simply popping it out like this. And here is the color. Oh no, I dented it at the top, but you can still see the Chanel is imprinted in there. So I haven't ran through that quite yet. So I'm gonna use Brick Lip Liner for all the lippies today. It's just a nice matte red lip liner from MAC. It's like a true red. You could use a brown lip liner if you prefer that. So let's go in with the Chanel lipstick now. So creamy y'all. So here is the Chanel lipstick. Super, super pretty. So I have my MAC Brick Lip Liner back on my lips. It's important that you line your lips when you wear red lipstick, y'all. So another classic that is like my go-to is the Sephora 01 Lip Stain. And this one actually stays on the lips. Unlike the Chanel lipstick, that can come off on different items, but this is like a lip stain and liquid lipstick in one. It is a must have. Go ahead and apply it. I get compliments every time I wear one of these two lips. And here is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 01. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have a favorite red lippy that you think that I need to try out, let me know what it is in the comment section down below and I might feature it on my channel next.
If you would like to see more videos like this one, definitely don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye. By the way, if you have not already checked out my latest makeup tutorial, What Are You Doing Sis? Go ahead, click the box right here and it's gonna take you straight to it.